Hey, Heidi here, Texas Art and Soul. And first off, let me know if you can hear me because I had an alarm come through and I don't know if it's working or not. So please let me know if yes, you can hear me. Okay, so I'm gonna be showing you how to put this onto um, a new painting I'm working on for um, Paint Party Headquarters. And I want to share with you how to find time to reach your goals because I know a lot of us are struggling with finding the time to reach your goals. And, um, and a lot of people always ask me like, how do you pack so much into a day or how do you get so many things done? So I want to share that with you. So as you come on, say hello, let me know if you can hear me. Hey mom, hey Priscilla, hey guys. Um, and then I'm gonna be sharing some tips while I trace this. Now, I want to just remind you, Sunday night is very, very important. Hey Karen, hey Doris. And um, Karen, oh my gosh, I am so, so, um, happy you're a part of paint party headquarters you have been there since the beginning it's so cool and um, yeah let me know if you've been in paint party headquarters since the beginning i love that okay i'm so glad you can hear me okay so real quick before i give you some tips i have four tips on how to make more time in your day so that you can accomplish your goals while i am doing this for y'all and um, but real quick if you have not signed up for sunday night's webinar you're not gonna wanna miss this. So make sure if you want the free training for that, put free training um, or click the link in the description because it is very, very important. You're not gonna wanna miss that and you're gonna hear why here in just a second. Hey guys, oh, I'm so glad y'all found me. Okay, did y'all like the flamingos that I did the other day? The flamingo family, I had Bobby, myself and Pixie and I had a bunch of y'all send really cute ideas. So I was really excited about those. And if you have not texted me yet, what are you waiting for? Text me something you're working on. I'd love to see it. Okay, so um, I'm going to just use some graphite paper. This is a new painting I'm working on. So those of you in Paint Party Headquarters just know I am, seriously, like I wake up and go, what can I do to help y'all today? <laughs> like I try so hard to, to do as much um, designing and creating. Sorry, I'm just grabbing a, a thing of scissors. Not a thing of scissors, a, a scissors. <laughs> um, but yeah, I wake up every day and go, how can I help y'all? So that's like my main mission and goal. So this is a new kind of desert design that I'm working on. It's not ready yet, but this is also one of the new SVGs that you'll get inside of Paint Party Headquarters. So I'm really, really excited um, to do this and um, to show y'all this one because you'll be able to kind of use it together. Okay, so uh, if you have not signed up for the webinar yet for Sunday, you must sign up. Oh my gosh, we had a lady that was really interested. You know, she has, um, she's really creative and artsy. And then she started, um, she kept listening and looking at it. And then she realized she has a honey business that's already very successful. And she thought, oh, I could just use these techniques and turn it into her monthly honey membership. And I thought, oh my gosh, that's brilliant. So there's a lot of things that you can do that may, you may have not thought of. So I really want y'all to um, be there on Sunday night. So make sure you're there on Sunday night. And if you don't, if you have not registered yet, just put um, free workshop and then we will get you the link or use the link in the description. Okay, so people want to accomplish their goals. Let me know if you are a person who has big goals, big dreams. Maybe you're like me and, and you have a, a lot you want to do and a lot of things you're excited about. And by the way, I'm just using graphite paper and I'm just adding this on here. And um, the link, if you want to sign up, Carla, just make sure you um, put free workshop or use the link at the top. So, um, so how do you find time to reach your goals? Okay. Number one, if you don't have the time, what I want you to do is document almost like a food journal. I want you to get a piece of paper, something. Oh man, hate it when I do this. I leave paint brushes out and then I got to if y'all have a tip for, you know, reviving a paintbrush, please let me know. Um, but what I do is um, if I'm starting, like, for example, let's say a lot of you are wanting to do the webinar on Sunday and you're also wanting to, um, you know, possibly take try, which, by the way, if you use my link to sign up, um, I have some really cool bonuses for you. And so some of y'all might be like, you know, this sounds awesome. I'm really excited. But how am I going to find the time? What I want you to do is over the next couple of days, I want you to write down everything you do like a food journal. And I know it sounds silly. <laughs> I know it sounds silly, but I promise you anytime I have something really big coming up 
or I need to focus on something and I really want something to happen, what I do is for the next couple of days, I just write down what my day looks like. I write down, am I doing this? You know, what am I doing here? Oh, thank you, Julie. Thank you, Tracy. Um, yeah, she says Mur Murphy's oil soap, soak in water. Yeah, and I have some, I need to get that out. That's in my closet because it really does help. Um, sometimes I forget it's there and then I just end up throwing away a brush and I should not do that. I know that. Um, I'll try that. And Cindy, I can't wait to, sh to see your flamingo porch light. Send me a picture. If you want to text me, Cindy or any of y'all, you can text me a picture of your flamingos. I would love to see them. So what I would recommend is almost like a food journal. I know it sounds silly, but write down what you're doing over the next couple of days. Because what I found, and this is my personal experience, yours may be different, but I, for, for many years, I was watching so much of The Bachelorette. And if y'all have not um, seen The Bachelorette, I, you know, it's a great show. It's, you know, I call, you know how you have some shows you just call kind of like trash TV. Um, it's a great show, but what I was noticing is, you know, they would have the Monday night, then they would have the follow-up, then they would have the after, all, all of that. And then I was spending, you know, on minimum an hour and a half on that show. And so once I started realizing, okay, you know, I love this show, but I really love what I want to do in my life better. <laughs> and so I was able to shave off easy an hour and a half a week just by not watching the Monday night premiere of that. So that's just an easy way. And all I did was kind of just track what I was doing and then I could easily see what was happening. Hey, Tammy. Oh, I hope you had a happy birthday, by the way. I know the other day you were celebrating your birthday. So I hope you had a happy birthday. Um, oh, and let's give Brendan a shout out. So Brendan, those of y'all in Pink Party headquarters, you know her well. She is, um, she is a huge part of Paint Party Headquarters and makes everything so, so organized and beautiful for y'all. Um, and so if y'all don't mind, give her a shout out. It was her birthday on Wednesday. And so um, we just love her and appreciate her and the whole Paint Party Headquarters team so much. But if y'all don't mind giving Brendan a happy birthday shout out, I'm sure she would love it. She's actually on here listening right now. So everybody say hi, Brendan. And happy birthday and all of that great stuff. We, we love you. We appreciate you. And so that's my first tip. So if you don't have time, document for the next couple of days. Number two, my second tip is to ask yourself, what do you really want in the next five years? Okay. So, um, for example, you know, Jamie, who is in paint party headquarters, she launched her art journaling membership and she actually did it in one year. She has almost 100 members in just one year. She went from, you know, seriously starting her Facebook business page a year ago. I'm so impressed with her to what she's been able to accomplish in just a year. Um, and then we have, um, you know, just thinking about like, you know, I'm sure that took time. You know, I, I'm sure that she had to somehow... Um, I'm going to put some paint right on top of this. I'm sure she had to sacrifice, you know, some time. And I, I know, you know, from just talking to her personally, she, um, she would get up early and do her journaling because that's whenever she could do it. She called it art in the AM. And then she ended up taking that and turning it into a membership. So I think sometimes we have to reevaluate our time and we have to ask ourselves, what do we really want? Um, I know just three years ago, you know, for those of y'all that are new to, to me or Paint Party Headquarters, um, we just started Paint Party Headquarters three years ago. We're about to, you know, open the doors for our third year anniversary on May 16th. So those of y'all that are interested, save that date. But the cool thing about that is that, you know, it was an idea. It was just an idea three years ago. Um Oh, you're welcome, Victoria. Yeah, if y'all text me too, I love to send um I love to send birthday messages via text. So if you text me, it tells me when your birthday is and I can um text you a little I usually try to do a little voice memo unless I'm, you know, somewhere where I can't do a voice memo. Um so anyway, so I thought that was really cool. So think about, you know, whether it's a paint party or you're wanting to do a membership, think about how, you know, you can shave off some of that time and let me know. I know my guilty pleasure is The Bachelor or used to be The Bachelor. So I was so, so 
addicted there for many years. Um, I stopped my addiction about two and a half, three, probably, probably when Paint Party Headquarters started is about when I stopped my addiction of, of, um, of The Bachelor. So let me know what your guilty pleasure show is. Your your what I call trash TV um, show, because I know um, right now I'm kind of addicted to Big Sky. So I've been, you know, I've been making sure I have some time in the evenings to watch Big Sky because I love that show. And um, so anyway, so let me know what, you know, is something that maybe you could look at and carve off in the month. Um, yeah, Andy, my birthday is July 8th. Yes, I have a July birthday. Um, okay, so number one, I have some notes here because I want to stay on track. Um, document what you do for the next couple of days. See where you can shave some time. Um, oh, Rebecca says, oh, me too. Isn't that show so good? Oh, Yellowstone. Yes, Deborah, I am all about some Yellowstone. Um, and then um, the second thing is, is ask yourself, what do you really want in the next five years? You know, as much as I love The Bachelor, um, when I stopped watching it about three years ago, and that's really when Paint Party Headquarters really took off, it's, it's like I want, I, I needed to choose what, what do I want to spend, you know, this extra time on? Cause a lot of times we all say we don't have time. We're busy. Well, everybody is busy. Everybody has a lot going on, but when you start to document, you start to see, wait a minute, did I need to spend, you know, an hour on TikTok? Did I need to spend this much on this time? And it's really just, you know, um, not taking that step away. I'm not saying take away, you know, things totally. I'm just saying set limits so that you can really learn what you want to do so that you can make traction on your goals. Because at the end of the day, your goals are so, so important. And that's where, you know, your dreams are just um, goals with a plan, right? Um, and then the third thing, take action when inspired. Oh my gosh. Um, Oh, Priscilla, me and your your sister share a birthday. That's amazing. And then Rosanna, that's my brother's birthday. We have birthdays side by side. That's so cool. And um, the third thing is, is take action when inspired. So I'm going to tell you a quick little story about a book I wanted to write years ago. So in my late 20s, I had this idea for this book. And it's so weird because Pixie recently had this idea too. Um, I'm going to do this right here so you can watch me while I'm doing this. Okay, um, Dawn says, great advice. Asking who do you want to be or accomplish and does that thing help me get there? Man, yes, very, very, very true. And um, here's the thing with taking action when inspired. So in my mid to, to late 20s, I had this idea for this book and I was going to take photographs of people, you know, like my grandma, you know, older people that, you know, just, I was in, you know, that were in there like, you know, 70s, 80s, 90s year old, you know, that age group. And I was going to, I had this vision of taking these really cool black and white photographs of their face and showing all their, um, all their wrinkles and all the, you know, all their, their age, line, you know, all of those things and, and showing a really up close picture of their face. And I don't know if it, it has to do with years ago, I had done a drawing of my grandma when she was 15 and I worked on it for months. I don't know if that has something to do with it or what, but I just thought, how cool would it be to have like a picture of, of somebody in their 70s, 80s, 90s, and then on the right side, interview them and ask them, um, what is something, you know, that you would do differently? What is something that you found in life that was the most? Like, you know, I just wanted to like interview these people that have lived you know, decades and find out like, like what would they do differently or how would they live their life differently? Or, you know, what were the things that they regret or what were the things that didn't matter? And so I had this, you know, idea. And I remember talking to my friend Allison about it. I remember having, when I lived in Florida, a long conversation about, you know, this is my idea. This is what I want to create. And then I never, ever did it. And then what's so crazy is a few weeks back when we went junking, um, I wrote a blog post about that. So if you didn't see it, you should go check it out on my website. But um, I wrote a blog post about it. Well, me and Pixie were sitting in these rocking chairs and she, and she had talked about that idea. And I was like, oh my gosh, that was what I was going to do in my, my mid twenties. I was going to write that book and I was going to interview, like, how cool would that be to hear from these, you know, people and, um, you know, from all walks of life, but we're all of, you know, the age of 70s, 80s that had lived, you know, lives like what, what, 
you know, kind of wisdom could we gain from hearing what they wanted to do or should have done or, or the things they don't regret or the things they find most important? And how can we um, in our decades take that information and live a better life? And so I was like, oh, my gosh, how did that idea pass to Pixie? Like, I don't remember ever, you know, taking that time to to um, share that with Pixie. And I thought, wow, that's so crazy that we both, you know, had that idea. But I still have not taken the time to do that idea. And I still want to. I think it's a, a really cool idea. But here's the thing. If I would have took action when I was inspired, I would have had it done already. I would have a book out. I would have all these interviews. I, would, I mean, we all we all have the same amount of hours in a day. We all choose what we want to do with it, right? But instead of taking action when I was inspired, I let it go. And then now it's just this thing that could have happened, but it still hasn't because I'm now I'm not as inspired. Now I'm inspired to create this for Paint Party Headquarters, right? <laughs> now I'm inspired to help you learn how to make a membership so you can, you know, do some really cool stuff with your family and help other people. And so I thought that was like kind of crazy. So sometimes even, you know, the simple thing, like you maybe saw me paint the flamingos. Don't wait too long. Take action while you're inspired. That's when you're going to have the most momentum. That's when you're going to have the most excitement about it. And then that leads me to the fourth thing, okay? The fourth thing about this, how to have time or how to, you know, find time to reach your goals. And again, this is all leading into Sunday. Um, my business coach is doing a really awesome webinar. And I want you to be there if you've ever wanted to do a membership, ever wanted to just, you know, you're curious about this online business thing. Um, he does it once a year. And I promise you, it will not be time wasted. And then if you decide to take Tribe, which is what I took to learn how to create Paint Party Headquarters, and now, you know, it was an idea three years ago to now over 2,000 members in just three years, I want you to sign up for this free training. If you decide to take Tribe, please use my link, and that's going to get you some extra bonuses where I can kind of help hold your hand through that. So this link, just put free training if you want to um, be a part of that, okay? Just type the word free training. We'll make sure you get the link or you can text me. We'll send the link out later as well as um, you can also go to the description. The description has the link. So my fourth and final tip for this, my fourth and final tip for finding time to reach your goals is to take a day to rest, okay? So usually on Sundays, this Sunday night will be different because this Sunday night is the awesome webinar. So I will be there for you. But here's the thing about Sundays or whatever day works for you. OK, and um, Sunday is usually the day where I have my phone just sitting somewhere in the kitchen. And, you know, my favorite thing to do is lay out in the sun and to be in some water. And so I want you to think about and I know it's hard. Let me know if you're starting to break out in hives as I say this, because I know some of y'all will be, okay? But take one day to not look at your phone at all. <laughs> I know that is so, so hard. But here's the reason why. And I started this practice. You know, it doesn't mean that I'm always perfect at it, okay? But um, I try to pre-schedule as much stuff as I can on Sundays. I try to... Um, put my phone away and I make sure I don't have any alarms on it. And then, you know, whether that's we go to church that day or whether we sleep in or whatever the case is, I try so hard to not look at my phone for an entire day. And the reason why is because if we are constantly, constantly comparing ourselves to others or not making time to paint or not making time to create or not making time to think about our goals or move past our goals. Alicia says, eek, I watch you every day on my phone. You got to take a break, even if you're watching me, okay? <laughs> I give you permission. Take a break. Um, you have to have at least one day, one day a week where you are not putting that pressure on yourself. Okay, not this Sunday. Sunday night, 
there's something cool happening. So don't miss this Sunday. The link is in the description or type free training and we'll get it to you. But normally pick the day that works for you. It might be a Monday. I don't know. Whatever day works for you. And I want you to do your best. Okay. Who's getting highs right now as I say this? Who on here is getting highs right now? <laughs> I know Don says that's so hard. You can do it. I promise. One day. One day, and I promise, then it gets easier. And what's crazy is now I start to really look forward to that day because, you know, as you start to journal, like going back to our, our tip number one, journal what you're doing, especially for those of y'all trying to find more time in your day to reach your goals. When you start to journal and you realize that out of habit, you pick up your phone. Yeah, Kimberly's getting hives. Joellen needs an intervention. <laughs> I, I know it, y'all. I'm I'm... I'm the same. I totally get it. I, I did the same thing. And then I realized like, this isn't a long-term solution to my mental health. And I had to seriously think about like, okay, how can I, how can I do something different? That's going to lead me to reach my goals. You know, my goals, um, you know, everybody's definition of success is different. You know, my definition of success for a long time was to um, was literally to, you know, be able to buy, you know, go to the grocery store, not have to worry, be able to buy the name brand Tostito chips and be able to buy, you know, Tide. That was like my definition of success. If I could go buy name brand chips and Tide, like I will feel so, so successful. And now even when I buy name brand chips, and tied right now, I, it makes me feel successful. I'm not not gonna lie. Like I love going to the grocery store, and um, you know, for for many years, <laughs> going to the grocery store meant I was on the phone with Bobby. Do you really need hot pockets? Like, can you get by? Like, do you have to have the hot pockets? <laughs> okay. Like, I don't know if my card's gonna go through. Like many times, that was that was our life, and so I really um. I really am a person who wants to help you. And um, if that's you and you're living that paycheck to paycheck, or if you're a person who's like, I just want to make some extra money to go on some cool vacations and have some extra, you know, time guys, it is all about making those things happen. You can't reach big goals. If all of a sudden you are like totally lost in not being able to manage your time. You are not being able, if you can't manage your time, you will not be able to have your goals. And I'm not trying to say that in a mean way. I'm trying to say that in a way because I have done that so many times. Yesterday, I overbooked so much. If y'all were in the artists who want to create a membership group, you saw how I overbooked. I ended up booking a paint party. I forgot. And then um, Stu's um, training went over. So I had Pixie. <laughs> Pixie Brazil says that was my thing. Hot Pockets. Yes, I totally, totally get it. Um, but, you know, I had to have Pixie, you know, take over the meeting for me so I could go get ready for the paint party, which, by the way, all of y'all in paint party headquarters, save <laughs> Monday at 11 a.m. I have some stuff to share with you, okay? And um, that, you know, that was, that was my life. Like I was just so, I didn't have the time and yes, I still overbooked to this day. I'm not saying all of a sudden, you know, these are the tips and I've mastered it. I'm not saying I've mastered any of this, but what I want you to know is that there are better ways to do things. And I didn't know that for a long time. And that's why I'm so passionate about sharing it with you. So just to recap, for those of you that are just jumping on, if you want, oh, let me back this up so y'all can see that. If you want to be a part of the free training, go ahead and um, type free training that happens Sunday night. For those of y'all that are just getting here, I'm going to recap real quick what, how to, and um, how to find time to reach your goals. Number one, I want you to document it like you document a food journal. Okay. I know that's silly. So document. Number two, I want you to ask yourself, what do you want your life to really look like in three or even five years. You know, I talked about, um, you know, Jamie and her membership of how in one year she has almost hit her hundred goal. I'm so excited. I messaged her last night. I was like, have you hit your hundred yet? I think she's like two away. And, and then also, you know, figuring out like if, if it's something you really want, whatever you really want, we really make time for, don't we? So, you know, my case, I was, you know, spending 1.5 hours and, you know, a week at least on watching the bachelorette and about, Two and a half, three years ago is when I stopped that habit and I started pouring that 
one and a half hours extra into Paint Party headquarters. And now from zero members and just an idea of what Stu taught me, which he's going to teach you on Sunday night, and to now over 2,000 members. Am I grateful that I, I stopped watching The Bachelorette about three years ago? Yes, I'm very grateful because it allowed me time in my day where I didn't have. So I want you to think about that. So type free training if you want to know about the free training. Number three, take action when inspired. I told you the story about wanting to write that book, which oh, I still want to do it, but I'm not as inspired to do it anymore because I'm more inspired to create things for Paint Party Headquarters. So I missed that opportunity. You know, maybe it'll come up again and maybe I'll have some time, but I want you to make like when you're inspired, when you see something created, do it, take action. You know, Tracy in our group, she's starting her membership. She wrote down for her founding members launch. She wrote down a date because she's inspired to take action. If she waits too long, she's going to not do it. And so I am very, very proud of her for taking action and thinking about that. And then number four, for the sanity of all involved, take a day of rest, okay? Take a day without your phone. Do not check every freaking message every five seconds. Y'all know I have my notifications turned off on my Facebook notifications. I have to. I used to have them on and it was beeping every five seconds and it drove me mad. And, um, and I couldn't, I could not deal. And I have a lot of, you know, squirrel moments where I'm, what about here? What about here? What, you know, a lot of artists do and we, you know, and I, I have a lot of anxiety. So I know that that was leading to my anxiety. So I turned off my notifications and then I really stick to a strict, um, Sunday, you know, not this Sunday, Sunday night, we have the webinar. So be ready for that and type free training if you want to be a part of it. Um, oh, good, Sarah. She just signed up. Let me know in the comments if you have already signed up. If not, make sure you sign up using my link, because if you do decide to take Tribe, which is what I took, which has helped me take Paint Party Headquarters from an idea to now over 2,000 members and has totally changed my life and has been able to help me change over 2,000 of y'all's lives. And I'm so, so excited to help you. So if you want to be a part of that, type free training or look in the description. And let me know if you signed up already. Goldie already signed up. Oh, awesome. I'll see you there on Sunday night. Lori signed up. Don signed up. I'm so, so excited. I cannot wait to, I cannot wait for y'all to learn this information. And that's what breaks my heart is I saw somebody post and they said, I don't have time. I want to do this, but I don't have time. And I thought, we have got to learn how to manage our time. If you can track what you're doing in the next just two days, just write it down and track it. I promise you, you're going to see big gaps where you're like, I do have time. If I really want this, I do have time. So I'm really excited for y'all. Oh, Susie already signed up for it. Jackie already signed up. Lydia signed up. I'm so excited for y'all. Again, like I said, um, this is awesome. You're going, going to learn a ton, regardless if you decide to take Tribe or not. But if you do decide to take Tribe, use my link because I'm going to be hand-holding you. So those of y'all that have been in that group, the Artist Creating Membership group, you've kind of seen how I've been holding your hand throughout the past few weeks. And I'm really, really excited to um, share that with you, that, you know, that whole um, time that he does this. So I'm really excited to do that with you. So just a recap, document what you're doing so you can make time for your dreams. Ask yourself what you really want. Okay. My definition, definition of success is different than your definite definition of success. I don't know why I can't say the word definition <laughs> and document, ask yourself what you really want. My main goal was to be able to go in the grocery store, buy what I want and not have to call Bobby and ask, do you really need the Hot Pockets? Because I want these Tostitos and Tide. Um, take action. Take action when you're inspired um, and then rest. Rest. You know, I see Jackie saying, I am one that gets pulled in many directions. Yes, this is where we have to be like masters of our schedule. We have to be masters of our time. When you start to figure out, when you start to track what you're doing in your day, it is going to open up so many opportunities for you. Because when you start to track what you're doing in your day, you realize a lot of it is not even necessary. So I'm excited for y'all to see that. I'm so, so excited to um, be there with you Sunday night. So make sure you sign up. I will see y'all on Sunday night. It's at 7 p.m. Central. Oh, 
there's somebody here. <laughs> All right, I gotta go. I'll see y'all Sunday night. Go ahead and sign up. Bye guys. Sorry about blue.